Hello students. Today I am going to start a new chapter. It's chapter number eight, Silk Road. Let us first of all know about the writer of Silk Road. The writer is Nick Middleton. So Nick Middleton, he is an award-winning geographer, writer, TV presenter, environmental scientist, and university lecturer. His curiosity about how planet Earth works and how people interact with it was fueled from an early age from his childhood now he works and communicates on a wide variety of environmental issues and travel topics for a broad range of audiences means from st st students of uh, the university to school students the introduction of this chapter silk road the writer he describes his pilgrimage to mount kailash here in himalayas he wants to be more adventurous than to be religious. As he starts from Rahu, a place there, there in Himalayas, towards Kailash, he describes all the things he sees, the landscape, people, animals. He goes to Mount Kailash to do the Kora with other pilgrims. Kora is a type of activity that is performed, religious activity actually that is performed when you reach Mount Kailash. Okay, so let us start this chapter point wise. The very first point the journey begins. Now, it was early morning when the author left Rahu. He told Lago that he was going towards Mount Kailash to complete the Kora. At this, Lago, he gave him a gift of a long sleeved sheepskin coat so that he may not feel cold there. Next, he took a shortcut. Shortcut. Now, the narrator and Satan, T S E T A N, it is written in the textbook. Satan, they took a shortcut to get off the Chengteng. This route would take them to south west, uh, southwest, almost directly towards Mount Kailash. It involved crossing fairly high mountain passes. Satan said that uh, there would be no problem if there was no snow. This shortcut would take them across the vast plains having arid pastures. They saw a few gazelles and a great herd of wild ashes. As hill came, once again they passed shepherds tending their flocks. Next point, the mastiffs. Now what are mastiffs? They are dogs. Dogs which are raised by the Tibetans. The narrator and setting, they passed the dark tents of nomads in lonely passes. A huge black dog, a Tibetan mastiff would stand to guard outside. The dog raised their big heads erect and they watched the narrator's car. As the car name came closer, they would start barking and ran towards this or their car. Uh, then the dogs would st stop barking only after chasing them off the property. Okay. Next point, the first big hindrance. Now, 
they could see snow capped mountains far away as they entered a valley the turns now became sharper and the ride more uncomfortable after a while sitten had to stop the car the author's companion daniel he also came out of that car the three men that is daniel sitten and the narrator himself they took the handful of dirt and flung it on the icy surface then sitten got into and drove the car very carefully towards the dusty snow it happened at the height of 5210 meters okay so today we'll end it here we'll continue oh, this chapter in the next video